this is Shatarupa and welcome back to Rasainika. So hope you all are doing well. So today our topic is top 10 secrets that how we can ask our inorganic chemistry with respect to CSIR chemical science. Okay, so inorganic chemistry is such a branch of chemistry that every student feels it a uh, very very difficult subject because they feel there are lots of informations, huge amount of uh, in uh, reactions, mechanisms, formulas, equ equations, etc. So they feel that uh, they need to mug up the things with respect to uh, this inorg inorg inorganic chemistry. So basically, uh, I will suggest you, this is not an, such a subject that you need to mug up. So if you understand the basic concepts regarding these all things, uh, there's lots of concepts and lot of techniques. If you follow one by one those, it will be very, very easy for you to uh, read these subjects and to have a very good strength in this inorganic part. And another important fact is this, this inorganic subject, this inorganic chemistry is such a scoring subject. So. Uh, once a student uh, will have a very good concept and can practice everything regarding this inorganic chemistry, in, the, in your exam, it will take very, very less time to solve the questions. Hardly 15 to 20 minutes, within 15 to 20 minutes, you can solve so many problems of inorganic. And also it's a scoring subject, so it is a positive fact. So if we have a very good concept regarding this inorganic chemistry, it will be very, very helpful for us to get very good score with respect to CSI and net chemical science. So today I have brought 10 super secrets that how we can ask our inorganic chemistry with respect to CSI and net chemical science. So let's begin. Our first important secret, our first point is understanding the periodic table. So basically we all know that periodic table is the base of inorganic chemistry. If you really really want to have, want to have a very good strength in your inorganic chemistry, you should start from your basic. So if we don't know how many elements are present around us and what are the basic principles, how they work, how they react and what are the basic uh, natures and properties, general periodic trend. If we don't know regarding this, so it will be very, 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 very hard for us to by heart everything or to understand the inorganic chemistry. So I will suggest you, if you really, really want to have a very good strength in inorganic chemistry, always start with the periodic table because you because you have to learn this periodic table first. So actually, there are so many sh uh, shortcut techniques that how we can remember the periodic table. It is very, very important to remember the whole periodic table. But how we can remember, how we can by heart those things? Yes, there are so many simple techniques. So let me show you one thing. Yeah. This is the periodic table, right? So we can remember uh, this, the elements uh, by so many way. Uh, number one is you can remember by alphabetically order. Number two, you can remember by the atomic number or periodic wise or group wise also, okay? So suppose from one to 20 element, atomic number 20, that is hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, like this, right? So the short techniques that is hydrogen, lithium, beryllium, like this. How we can remember from one to two? The small, small technique, short technique is, we can remember with the first alphabetic letter. Like, ha, he, li, be, bo, ka, na, of, lu, ni, sam, asi, ko, sap, lo, apo, ke. So like this, we can remember everything. Otherwise, you can remember like this. Scandium, yotrum, lanthanum, titanium, titanium, zirconium, hafnium, rutherfordium, vanadium, niobium, tantalum, dubnium, chromium, molybdenum, tungsten, ciborium. So these are the technique where we can remember group wise. Okay. So there are a lot of techniques you can follow, but you must know the periodic table first. So these are the first mantra or our first secret that how you can you have a very good knowledge about inorganic chemistry. Yeah. Secret number two. Our secret number two is understanding chemical bonding. So this is another important fact is that another basic of our inorganic chemistry is chemical bonding. So if we don't know how the, how there are, uh, what are the type of the, actually the bonding present among the molecules or atoms, what the type of bondings are the covalent or inorganic or uh, ionic bonding or what are the nature, general periodic trend or what are the actual facts regarding their elemental states or their anionic or whatever we can say anionic state. So if we want to have very good knowledge, so we want to know first the 
bonding chapter also so uh, bonding is another basic chapter if you don't know this it will it will be very very difficult for you to understand the basic structure and molecule the three dimensional geometry everything regarding this okay so understanding chemical bonding is another important secret yeah our third secret is redox chemistry so basically students think that inorganic chemistry consists of large lots of huge huge amount of informations and also so many equations lots of um, uh, balanced equations, formulas, uh, molecular structures, there's so many things are there, right? So they feel that uh, they start avoiding this in organic chemistry because they feel that they need to mug up everything. But the fact is there is lots of concepts of basic things. If you really, really understand the basic facts, it will be really, really helpful for you to understand or to learn these things. Uh, you don't need to mug up everything. Okay, so don't try to mug up, just understand the basic concepts. So the fact is redox chemistry is another basic fact. If you really, really know how the element can ch change their elemental state, how they in changes their oxidation state, how the charges of the metal on the metal center can increase or decrease. So then it will be easier for you to correlate with the fact that how the metal center or the one element can associate with another element, same element or different element, or whatever we can say they can attach with another ligand or metal center or anything. So suppose that's, wh that's how they can react and they can form a new product. Like, okay, so, so many complexes are compounds. So as a result, so basically, if you know the basic things, how the changes, what is the fact, how then what are the number of electrons, how the changes, the basically redox chemistry, everything regarding this redox chemistry, basically redox thing. Okay, so it will be very, very easier for you to grasp the whole subject. Okay, so these are our third secret. Yeah, our fourth secret is make your own flowchart or tables. Yeah, inorganic uh, chemistry is definitely, it consists lots of equations, lots of balance equation, lots of uh, chemical formula, lots of information actually. So, yeah, at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a level, you all, always, you have to mug up things. But uh, if you really, really have an understanding, if you have good knowledge about the subject, it will be easier for you to, uh, to know the knowledge subject and to have, to solve the problems regarding those, right? So, an easy technique is just while reading everything, make your own flowchart. Own flowchart means wherever, suppose like reaction mechanism you are reading. So every, uh, suppose every reactions you are writing here and they're in a table format or in a flowchart format where you can write every reagents, also the mechanism and the examples also. Okay, so that's how, this is easier technique, how you can remember, how you can memorize. And if you follow this technique, it um, I will definite, I will assure you that it will stay uh, towards a longer time in your mind. Okay, so basically this is a, our secret number four, just to, just to make your own flowchart or table to learn or to read everything, okay? Our secret number five. So secret number five is start reading good books. So basically reading good books are the very, very important fact. So student must read very good important things. It must be a very good habit for every student because uh, if you don't learn or don't read the good books, then there will there is, there is a chance to have so many misconceptions or uh, very, uh, very, very much, very, very, so many confusions, okay, regarding the term, scientific terms, regarding the fact, the concepts regarding those. So it is very, very important to verify the knowledge, whatever we are reading, whatever we are gaining. Uh, it is not enough just to go through the uh, topic or just read from, uh, from whatever you are attending any lecture, class lecture from YouTube or whatever, everywhere. So it's not enough just to have the information regarding everything, class lectures. So it is very much important thing is just to follow any uh, standard book textbook also beyond the textbooks that is the reference books because uh, in the books there is so many scientific terms right and also you can verify the information whether it is correct or not so just to have uh, a very depth knowledge about the particular subject so to understand those so it is very very important to start start reading good books so here I have brought some important inorganic books, books regarding all the topics where uh, whatever the question comes from the in, in uh, CSIR chemical science. So our first book is Inorganic Chemistry, Principle of Structure and Reactivity by James E. Hui. Hui, Ellen A. Keeter, 
Richard L. Kitter. So basically, Hui and Kitter Kitter. This is the main important book for the CSI with respect to CSI and net chemical science because lots of question every year lots of question are coming from those book just uh, just direct questions so this book uh, book is very good book so we can refer this book another book is also J D Lee that is concise and organic chemistry by J D Lee it's also another important book you can refer also this book and. Moreover, I also say I would want to say two another book are, books are general and inorganic chemistry by R P Shorkar, and also fundamental concepts of inorganic chemistry by Oshin Kumar Das. That is A K D. These two books are really, really very good. All the concepts regarding bonding, redox, and everything, molecular orbital diagram, everything, coordination chemistry are very good there. So you can refer these books also. You have a few books you can refer, and there are more than enough just for the your preparation regarding chemical science CSI. Okay. Yeah. Our next secret is secret number six. That is make your own notes. Yes. Making your own notes is very important because uh, whatever you are reading, from where you are collecting the information, lots of information, it is very very hard to remember for a, for a longer period of time, right? From where you have collected lots of information. So I want to suggest to every student that just maintain a notebook where you can collect all the informations, all the important notes in concise, concise manner. It really, really concise manner. In a concise manner, where within one or two pages, you can cover all the chapters, where you can write all the units regarding those, all the formulas, all the reagents, all the main concepts, whatever you have collected from so many books, referring so many books, or collected from many video lectures, or you can attend so many classes. Okay, so just maintain that notebook because it is very, really helpful for you. Uh, because whenever you want to revise those things just before you exam, just before your seven days, just before the before the night of your exam. So it will be really, really helpful for you. Just turn, turning over the pages, you can go through every points regarding those and it will be very, very helpful for you to revise with respect to revision. Okay, so making making your own notes, it's an art. I will suggest to it is an art because uh, to make your own note in a concise manner, really, really uh, hard, but it is as uh, as long as long as i can say that it is very very good also so you can do this uh, while preparing with respect to inorganic chemistry and whatever you can learn so making your own notes is very very important thing. and this is i will suggest this is our secret number 6 okay our seventh secret is practice and memorize by writing as much as you can yes we all know practice makes a person better okay so as much as you can practice so it will be very very helpful for you so we all know that inorganic chemistry consists of lot of chemical reaction lot of balance equation lots of informations lots of formulas are there right so it is a useful technique i will suggest you just practice everything just as much as you can just as possible as much as you can just write those okay so it will be very very helpful for you to remember so uh, because uh, we all know uh, inorganic chemistry is such a branch of chemistry where it uh, consists lots of information. So, so not only it is not enough just to understand those things, you should practice all those in daily manner, okay, daily basis. So uh, it is very, very useful technique that I will suggest you just practice daily and write as much as you can, the formula, chemical formula, chemical equation, then you don't need to mug up everything, right? The balance equation also, you don't need to mug up. Students already, students actually often uh, get afraid of uh, about this because they feel that they need to mug up the chemical re reactions, the equations, Everything. But if you daily basis, if you practice, you write, write everything, it will be very, very helpful for you to remember or to recall everything, okay, for longer period of time. So our seventh secret is as much as you can practice in daily basis. Number eight, focus more on different important topics for CSIR. Okay, so there are some important topics I have brought for you that if you follow the last five years CSI and net chemical science question papers, you can see there are lots of questions, huge number of chemistry questions in respect of inorganic chemistry and most of the cases, they come, they are coming from these topics. So our number one important topic is all the block elements and their chemistry. Yes, you have to be very, very careful 
how when you are reading all the block chemistries that is all the sp block elements all the d block elements lanthanides actinides all the alkali metal metals earth metals halogens everything regarding noble gas also so these are very very important including all the synthesis all the reactions regarding those the structures you need to by heart those things or you need to understand those things i will suggest you Number two, coordination chemistry. This is another important topic. Lots of question every year are coming from this part, this coordination chemistry. Number three is bio inorganic chemistry. Another important part. Bio inorganic chemistry is another important, and you must, you must understand those first. Otherwise, it will be very very difficult for you to answer regarding those questions. Okay. Number four is. organometallics yes another chemistry is organometallic chemistry it's very very important topic because so many cages structures so many uh, uh, you have to uh, find so many structures of the molecules uh, with the help of mingos rules or whatever boron chemistry regarding everything so this is another important chapter you must go through those and our last important topic is vsa vsa pier yes the structure prediction prediction is a very important and very uh, i will suggest a very very important questions of favorite questions of uh, csir so if you follow the question papers lots of questions coming from this topics okay including vsepr so if you really really want to have a very good score regarding inorganic chemistry just must go through this topics don't forget this okay yeah our ninth secret is practice lots of exercises questions daily Yes, practice lots of exercise questions because inorganic chemistry is such a branch of chemistry where huge amount of amount of informations are there. So it is really really important for you to practice everything. And once you complete all the to have all the concepts, to have all the concepts regarding every chapter, then you must practice every exercise regarding those topics. Okay, and once you finish, it is really really important to solve all the PYQs. Yes, previous year questions. plays a very important role regarding this okay so just follow the steps and also solve all the uh, previous year questions and practice as much as you can in the daily basis okay so this is our ninth secret yeah our 10th secret is join the mock or test series once you done all the nine secrets with all these nine secrets that's whatever i have already described you that is once you have done all the secrets you have done all the concepts regarding all the chapters you have covered everything so then i will suggest you just you need to join any type of mock tests whatever they our assignica team uh, they are, they are uh, they actually are bringing so many important type of courses and also regarding ucsc net exam and also so many uh, important test series also so you can join those test series also and whatever you can we want to join but it is very very important to join any type of test series test series because a test series plays a very important role to uh, to get to uh, to get your very good score in csi and net chemical science okay so uh, whatever uh, you have done whatever you have prepared so i will suggest you once you finished revise everything uh, do join any type of test series and it will really really help how because it will improve your speeds as well attempts also it will correct your uh, so many mistakes okay so it is so many actually students will think like uh, it, it is it is not it is, they will think like it's enough that uh, just to go through the chapters just to have very good knowledge about everything just to have the concept regarding every every topic it's not enough but we have already uh, seen so many students that uh, they already have very good knowledge but they can't crack the csi net because it's a national level exam right csi net so you have to think in respect of the exam also so it's not enough just to have a very good knowledge sometimes being knowledgeable is not enough you also have to be practical just you have to practice everything also you have to join so many test series otherwise you can it will not increase your speed it will not increase your attempts also so test series it's a very important fact i must say every student should join this okay so it's our 10th and the last secrets so today i have told all the 10 some important secrets that's regarding your csi and net exam in exam and also with respect to inorganic chemistry so if you follow every every these points so it will be really really helpful for you just to have a very good score regarding inorganic chemistry in the csi and net exam so all the best everyone and uh, i we will we will bring another day with new topic and till then bye bye thank you